Good morning children. Welcome to English class. Today we are going to learn the topic tenses. Okay. Last class we studied verbs. Action words. Do you remember action words? Yeah. So verbs. For the verbs we have tenses. When the verbs, when the action occur at different times, the tenses occurs. Okay. The tense of a verb tells us when the action happens. Okay. The verbs change its forms according to the time of the action. So that are tenses. Okay. Tenses help us in telling the time of the action. By looking at the tenses, we can understand when the action happened. Okay. Is it happening now or is uh, has the action already occurred or is the action yet to come? So, looking at the tenses of the verb, we can know when the action took place. Okay. Verbs change with time. Okay. Actions, verbs change with time. There are three tenses. Present tense, past tense and future tense. Okay. Three tenses. Present tense. Present tense means it indicates the action that happens now. Okay. The action, all the actions that are happening now. It's in present tense. Past tense means the actions already happened. It indicates that the action already occurred. It's over. Now, future tense. Future tense means the action has not occurred. It is coming in the future. Okay. And children, present tense, past tense, future tense. We'll study in detail in, the, in later classes. Okay. Now, we are just going through all this. Okay. So, take your textbook. Lesson 13. Grammar textbook. Tenses. Page number 31. Tense of a verb shows time of an event or action. There are three tenses. Present tense, past tense and future tense. Tenses help us in telling the time of an action. They tell us whether an action is done in the present, past or future time. Okay. Now present tense. First one. It indicates that action is done at present. Look at the example. The children do their homework. So in the picture you can see the children are doing their homework at present. My mother helps me in my studies. Helps is the verb there. Helps. It's in present tense. Okay. My mother usually, she helps you in your studies. So you can say, my mother helps me in my studies. So in these sentences, do and helps. Tell us that the action is done in present time. Okay. Action verb. Now second one, past tense. It indicates that action was done in the past. The children did their homework. Okay. Do you remember the other sentence? The children do their homework in present tense. But here it is children did their homework. Did is the action word there. That is a past tense. My mother helped me in my studies. Helped. H E L. P-E-D. Helped. Okay. In the above sentences, did and helped tell us that the action was done in the past time. It's already over. Okay. So, looking at the action words, verbs, we can say the action when it happened. Now, future tense. It indicates that action will be done in the future. I will go out with my father this evening. Will. In future tense we add 
will with the verb. Before the verb, we should add will. My mother will come to school tomorrow. So, she's, she has not come yet. She will come tomorrow. So, will go, will come. Tell us that the action will be done in the future time. Now, some more examples are given. Verbs help us to tell the tense. So, the chapter is tenses. Okay. The three tenses are present tense, past tense and future tense. I will go to Agra tomorrow. Which is the tense? Will go. Yeah, future tense. When will comes in the sentence before the verb, you should say it is a future tense. I went to Agra yesterday. So I already went. It is a past tense. Went. Okay, when is the action word. I am going to Agra today. So that is present tense. Okay, going to happen now. It's happening now. I am going to, I am on the way to Agra. I am going to Agra today. Okay, now take next page children, page number 32. Then you can see three boxes. Okay, present tense, past tense and future tense. There it is written simple present tense, simple past tense and simple future tense. Children, there are some more other types of tenses. Okay, this present tense is again divided into four. That no need to study so much in detail. The, now we will study simple tenses. Okay, simple present tense, simple past tense and simple future tense. Now look at the verbs there. There are 13 verbs given there. Begin, first one, begin. That is the present tense. Then what is the past tense? Began. And future tense? You should add will before the verb. Will begin. Don't say will began. Okay. Will begin. That is the correct form of future tense. Bring. Brought. Will bring. Come. Came. Will come. Drink. Drank. Will drink. Fall. Fell. Will fall. Okay. So you should study the past tense form. That is important. Okay. When we form past tense, sometimes we will add ed to the ver verbs in act present tense. Sometimes we cannot add ed. The verbs will entirely change. So past tense. You should study the past tense. Okay. Study the past tense well. Future tense it's easy. Just add will before the verb in present tense. Okay. Read all these. Okay. There are 13 verbs given here. You should read all this. Now, writing corner. Let's just do the exercise questions. Okay. Simple present tense, simple past tense, simple future tense. First one, break. What is the past tense of break? Yeah. Broke. Okay. First one. Break. And the past tense is. Broke. B-R-O-K-E. Broke. And what is the future tense? Yeah. Very easy. Will break. Second one. Future tense is given there. Will catch. So, what will be the present tense? Yeah, catch. That is the answer. Second one. Catch. And what is the past tense of catch? Caught. C-A-U-G-H-T. Caught. Okay. Now, third one. Past tense is given there. Fed. F-E-D. Fed. What is the present form of fed? Feed. Okay, so third one, feed. Fed is already given there. And what is the future form? Will feed. Will feed. Okay. Now, four, five, six, seven. That you should do it as a homework. Okay, let me see who all completes it without mistake. So, you should read the chapter thoroughly. Tenses. 
Okay, there are three tenses. Okay, present tense, past tense, future tense. Present tense, the verb that indicates that the action is happening now. Action happens at present is present tense. Past tense means action already happened. And future tense means the action has not happened. It will happen in the future. Okay, looking at the verbs, we can say the action. Uh, when the action happened. Okay, so read the textbook thoroughly and do all the textual exercises. Okay, see you in the next class. Thank you.